everyone welcome back to another video and today we've got my august bullet journal plan with me video so for those of you who don't know august is actually my birthday month so i wanted to do something a little bit uh closer to me and what i like so i put a little thing on twitter asking you guys what uh theme i should do for my birthday month and a lot of you guys sent in some really funny suggestions and some really good ones but most of you just said to use my favorite color and uh just something to do with like moon and stars and stuff like that because apparently that's sort of my branding uh, so I decided to do a very simple minimalistic theme using my favorite color black <laughs> black and gray and I decided to do a sort of like moon theme but more of sort of like a realistic moon rather than uh, like doodle moons if that makes any sense and so I did a little quote there on the side with the uh, moon phases and it says darling the moon is still the moon in all of its phases which is probably one of my favorite quotes of all time which is kind of like you know a saying about doesn't matter if you're in a rough spot you're still yourself and yeah it's pretty nice so for the title page here i just uh, drew out the moon using my tombow duo brush pen in a light gray and used my fuden soki uh, brush pen to add in all the little details and little doodles and all the crates and stuff on the moon and also to do the um you know calligraphy of august on top i also did a cute little border with some plants and stuff uh just kind of going around it like some vines that's kind of what i did for the front page um, i also added some more of the moon phases uh, at the bottom as well as a little monthly calendar and i really really enjoy how this looks <laughs> So for my monthly spread, I of course kept it pretty much uh, the same as I always do in terms of structure and I uh, kept my monthly goals and my YouTube planner uh, over there on the left and then did all of my monthly boxes uh, over on the right. And then of course, as per usual, I then did my mood tracker down there at the bottom using the extra space. So I mainly just use my Fudenosuke brush pens for most of the things uh, in these spreads uh, just because the Posca white pen uh, works really really nicely on top of uh, the Fudenosuke Fudenosuke? Fudenosuke. I'm gonna start saying Fudenosuke. Uh, they work really well on the Fudenosuke uh, brush pens and they just come out really opaque and nice. So I did um, most of the texts as in calligraphy and then kind of did some other texts in like a simple block capital just to make it look cute and uh, I added some gray here and there so for example on the top row of all of my monthly boxes and then also this month I used a lot of this washi tape that I got uh, from Amazon I'm gonna link it down there uh, obviously but it's really really pretty it's like all black and then it's got some beautiful gold illustrations of like moon and stars and stuff it's probably one of my favorite washi tapes that I've ever bought uh, so yeah, for my mood tracker, I use like the different phases of the moon as an identifier of, um, you know, my mood for each day. And that was it for my monthly spread. And then for my habits tracker. For the title, I used my Tombow Duo brush pen to write out habit in like a block capital and then used my brush pen to draw over it uh, with a like mono calligraphy. And I think it ended up looking really, really sweet. I really like this type of uh, title design sort of uh, and then for each uh, habit I drew out a little oval where I'm gonna write the habit in with uh, my Posca pen later and then I basically drew out the monthly calendar using my zebra mod liner in gray to then fill in with uh, whatever I'm gonna fill it in. I haven't thought about that yet but <laughs> yeah that's kind of what it looks like and then I just drew out some little um, like a big moon over there in the corner and a smaller moon over there and uh, using you know doodling in the extra spaces that I had at the bottom and then I of course went in with my Posca pen and wrote out all of my habits I want to track Thank you. 
and I did a very similar design to my expenses tracker over there. I just kind of kept everything quite simple as I always do <laughs> for my expense tracker and made all of the title bars and stuff uh, black and rounded off the corners to kind of go with the sort of cutesy moon theme and as per usual used my Tombow Dual brush pen in light grey to add a, a grey line to every other line. And I then just uh, drew out some little moon phases over there in the top since I had some extra space next to the title. And that was it for my expenses uh, tracker and my habits tracker. For the next two pages, I actually decided to do something a little new and different since it is a special month. And I did a little bucket list for my 21st year. So things I wanted to do before I turned 22, basically. And I made this little bucket list spread over here and that's where I'm going to list all the things that I wanna try and achieve or do before I turn 22. Um, and then on the next page, I did this cute like August lunar calendar. So uh, I've always been quite interested in like the lunar lunar phases and you know especially living next to the ocean it's always very interesting to look at these things and I saw this really cool spread on my Pinterest and I pinned it so if you guys want to see where I got the inspiration from you can definitely go there and see it and I kind of took inspiration from that to do this spread so I, I looked up the August lunar calendar online and there's a website that does it obviously for <laughs> every month and I just copied them down basically and noted down like the important dates so like when there's a full moon when it's uh, you know if there was an eclipse which there wasn't sadly but <laughs> uh there was two full moons in august which is pretty cool yeah this is kind of just going to be me having a look at you know what the moon's gonna look like on my birthday pretty much <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was a cool little um, idea for a spread and uh, please don't kill me at how wonky all of my circles turned out. I, I was going to use a little like tracing thing, but I then I was just too lazy to get one. So I'd freehanded all these circles and they just did not turn out very well. So forgive me, but you know, it gives them character. <laughs> and then I went in and filled them in uh, accordingly to, you know, the lunar calendar. <laughs> after all of those were filled in I at the bottom wrote out a cute little quote as well as the important dates and then around this time my cat decided it was pretty much a good time to come say hi and walk and sit all over my desk which was great yeah I tried to nudge her but she just went like nope I'm gonna sit here so yeah thanks Miffy <laughs> yeah she's 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 cute but she picks uh not very good times to ask for cuddles <laughs> Yeah, so she just kind of sat there for a while, so I hope you don't mind. And the quote that I wrote there on the side was, the moon is a reminder that no matter what phase I'm in, I am still whole, which is kind of the same premise as the other quote that I did at the beginning of the month. Uh, but I really like all these like mo lunar moon phase quotes. And then of course I went in with some washi tape over there at the top and added some little stripes of washi tape uh, on the corners of my bucket list. And uh, it, look how cute it is. It's so adorable. It's right down my lane. And after that I did that, I went in and fixed all the mistakes that I did on the lunar calendar spread and wrote in all the days of the month and, uh, and also the days of the week that I'd forgotten with my Posca pen. And that was it for these two spreads and we're going in now to my youtube and life planner so you guys know the drill for this i just keep it pretty much empty uh, so i can fill it in with all my lists and um, doodles and ideas and stuff like that i just kind of drew out the title at the top with some uh, sparkles and stuff and then i just doodled out a moon over there in the corner and also in the top corner as well and i think these look so adorable these little moon doodles i just i just really like them and uh, yeah then I just kind of made a little title over there for my packing list for when I go back to Leeds and just to give you guys a bit of an example 
And with that done, it is now time for the weekly spread, the last spread of this month. So I use my brush pen to write out the days of the week in calligraphy and I really like this type of spread because it's just quite simple and it just leaves a lot of free space for me and I just I just think it fit with the theme nicely and then I uh, drew out a little like crescent moon on the, I think that's the word correct me if I'm wrong but I just drew out a little moon on the side of each one and then I wrote in the days of the month inside the moon for each day and I think I ended up looking quite adorable then in the empty space up there I wrote out August and doodled in some moons everywhere of course and some little flowers and doodles and stuff and then at the bottom of course I always do my weekly goals slash weekly tasks and I put in a little monthly uh, overview at the bottom there where I had some empty space as well. And as you can see I pretty much use the same pen to do everything in this month's spread which uh, is very helpful considering I'm gonna be you know I kind of go traveling a lot during the summer and I don't really take my huge pencil case everywhere I only take like my essentials so it's good to have you know a very simple spread that only requires like one or two pens and then with my trusty Posca pen I just went in and wrote out weekly tasks and added some very trusty washi tapes and here is like a little close-up of what it looks like for you guys because it's so pretty and with that our August plan with me is complete um, I'm giving you guys a, a bit of a flip through right now I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and maybe you planned along with me uh, if you recreate any of these spreads do send them to me on Instagram I love seeing them and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful August and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye